in this video, we'd like to show you the camo. He's part of a nativity ornament set. He's done with machine embroidery and he's freestanding applique. And I think this video will show you really how fun he is. He's not hard at all. I've got a large hoop. This is 145 millimeters by 255 millimeters or about six and a half by 11. And I've hooped it with water soluble interfacing and I put a scrap of the same on the back and spray adhesive it. And I just, that's a piece that I would have cut away from a different project before I soaked it. So I didn't waste it. And you could double hoop it, but I just find it works better with little extra strength. Then I've taken a quality fleece. This is an anti-peel fleece. And I've got two pieces that are together and I put the best side on the outside. And then I'm going to cover the area that I'm going to stitch. And the applique stitch is three stages. The first stage is a single stitch. So I'll take it to the machine and we'll show you how we uh, proceed from there. It finished single stitching and then I'm going to come and cut away the extra fabric. Here I finished the body part and because it was hard to trim around the foot, front foot, I can do a separate sandwich now and place it and then stitch it out. This is done to not waste any of the hooping or the water soluble interfacing. Now you can put interfacing in between that will help that front leg be a little stiffer. This is two layers of water soluble interfacing, which will not totally wash out. Now I finished stitching the applique. I want to tell you with this fuzzy fabric, I took little tiny scissors and I cut as much of the fuzzy away as I could. It just makes a prettier stitch. Now I'm going to cut the uh, water soluble interfacing away, soak it. Now I'll do two of these. They're left and right, reverse and then we'll show you how to put them together. Now I've put my left and my right together and I'm going to sew all of these zigzag areas. And when you have a sand stitch, usually the top looks a little better. And on these, I put the top on the outside. So the better stitch is on the outside. Then I'm going to turn it, the body part, right side out. And I start by reversing the neck and and with your finger, you can just pull it right through like that. It's a lot of fabric and it's thick fabric. So just take your time with it. And then once you get him reversed, make sure his hump is really pushed out. And then I'm going to stuff him. And when he's all stuffed, then I'm going to put out, braid some floss, put it here inside to catch in a seam that I sew across here. Now that seam is finished. You can see where I put the tail. And then I folded the legs over and I make them go straight and then tack them underneath. And there's a little extra fabric here in this fold that gives him some shape to his hiney so it's not so flat. And then his four legs are also sewn underneath so that they don't interfere. The stitching doesn't interfere with this pretty line. Then next, I'm going to put his head together. This is how it's stitched out. I'll fold it. When I cut it out, I left a seam allowance. So I'll sew on that line turn it right side out, stuff it, and we'll show you how to finish his head. Now the head is stuffed, and I just turn under the opening, and I'll just stitch that back and forth till it's closed. I've put a little eyelid on, they're just little, but you just put them, because it's fleece, you don't have to worry about your edges, and just whip stitch around the top of it, and then the ears were turned right side out. I'll fold them in half like that, and then I'll just whip stitch or stitch them right there. Both ears, just kitty corner to the eye. So I've finished putting the eyelids on and the ears, just folded in half. And then for his underbite, got this little moon shape. And I hand gather 
the part that's not um, satin stitched, the rounded part. And then I'm just going to put it like it's underbite like right there. And I can pin that, just hold it, and then I'll take little stitches along that gathered line to hold it. I've got that funny, that's really what makes a camel, is that funny underbite smile. And then for the neck and the head attachment, I'm just going to roll under the end of the neck. And then he kind of has that proud look. Just smash it down. And then while you hold it, just do tiny stitches around like that. Comes out so cute. Okay, we'll show you what he looks like finished. Our camel turns out so cute. The pattern comes with this blanket. It's just two sides that are sewn up on the hoop. And then I attached it with a ribbon around his tummy. The bridle's super easy. Just wrap some ribbon around the muzzle, tie a square knot, and one tail of the knot comes around the head. And then a half hitch here. And then bring them, the tails together, and tie a knot, couple hoops make his silly hair, and he's just awesome. I'll, I'll put a, a little loop to hang him with. Come to our website, check out our other ornaments. They just are so fun, and thanks for watching.